we are live. Hey guys, welcome to this video. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow me on all my social medias. And about social medias, that's what this video is going to be about today, is how I got verified on every platform. Wow, that was really long, but yeah, I'm going to show how you can get verified on every single platform today. So if you're trying to get verified on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, or uh, any other platform, I'm gonna try showing you all of those today. So yes, I am verified on Instagram, I'm verified on Snapchat, I'm verified on Giphy, I am verified on, I, I can't even think where else right now in my head, Spotify, I'll show you how you can do all those. So when trying to get verified on these platforms, they could take some time, but they can also be quick. So the first thing you always want to do is PR, 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 PR. So what, what the heck is PR? Well, that means you need a media source, a reliable, a real source, and a company or a reporter to write about you, feature you, or quote you. So I've had multiple articles that you can see here. I've been quoted, I've been featured, and I've had things that have were written about me. So these are articles are very powerful. So I had one written about me from Facebook themselves. And with Facebook, this got me through the doors with Instagram. And this is a key feature is contacts. It's all about who you know. So if you're a really good friend with me and you wanna get on a certain platform, I would be a great contact. I'm not, I do not recommend you reach out to me and ask you to get verified because that's impossible. They're not gonna, I've, no, that's not how it works. So first off, you what you wanna do is you're going to watch for PR. Let's say you're a TikTok creator and you have this crazy trend only you're doing and you wanna be first and let everybody know. Well, now you go and reach out and you start looking on Twitter. So you're going to need to make a Twitter account if you don't have one or whatever platform a reporter is really active on. And it's mostly Twitter. So what you're going to do is you'll start looking up articles like TikTok. Tap the news feature on Google. And from there, you'll see all these different articles. And look up the big ones like The Verge, these really big brands like Wall Street, those big names. Look at the reporter, tap on their name, Check out their other articles, learn about them before just reaching out and see what they write about, what part of TikTok or what part of uh, whatever you whatever you want, even if it's a car, if you're into cars, see what these reporters love writing about them and approach them, go to their Twitter and approach them, hey, do you like this? Tell them what you do and see if they like your idea and if they don't reach out, well, it's fine because they're always tweeting, hey, do you guys have, what's your opinion on this, this, and this? And tweet within seconds, have your notifications on and follow the reporter, because most of the time they'll follow back. What you'll do is they'll tweet about something, you'll tweet back on what they tweeted, asking that question, they'll reach out going, whoa, you have a great response. They'll reach out to you asking, hey, can I use your tweet as a quote? and they'll use your quote, and that's how you get featured. It's so simple, but it, it, it can be difficult depending what topic you're trying to do. Now you have your first article. Sweet, there's a couple other companies will go out of their way and snatch those articles, and those, those are pretty cool to have different articles, but they're not original. You always want original articles. Now from there, you have, you want to get verified on Instagram, cool. Keep pulling up articles, start reaching, don't try reaching out, don't force yourself. What you're gonna try doing is be simple with them. You want to engage with their social media, catch their attention, and what they'll do is, they'll normally, most of the time for me, they follow you back. Oops. They follow you back and they wanna see what you do. And once in a while, they'll send you a DM, go, hey, I have this quick question about this, or I want your opinion on this, and from there, you grow your contacts. That's the key in social media. Now, after you're verified, well, sorry. If you wanna get verified, now you have multiple articles. You got three to five of them. Cool, that's enough. Three to five is perfect. Now, with Instagram, they changed up the process a bit different. If you work with other creators, some of them have an agency or a manager they can reach out with and see if they can help speed up the process. Now you're gonna head over to your settings on your Instagram and then type in your name, type in all that fun stuff and 
Who are you? What are you known as? So with this, this is where you gotta be careful. Either you can put your name of what you've been labeled as on all the social media for your articles. Because if you search my name, you tap news, you can find my stuff. And you can't change your name ever. Once you have that set name, you have to stick with it. And from there, you can submit this. Now, only submit it once. And they say, yes, the 30 day wait time is 30 days. But if you submit again after those 30 days, you'll go into Instagram's firewall. And this happened to me when I was smaller, when I was, my account was way smaller. And thank God somebody at Instagram showed me this and helped me and got me out of it. So you submit again after those 30 days, it takes actually 40 days for their system to refresh for you to resubmit. So I would wait 90 days. I know this isn't fun, but 90 days, wait one more time, get some more PR, it's the key. Cool, from here, now you have your Instagram verified. You got that little blue check mark, congrats. Now, what can you do when you're verified on Instagram? Well, you can head over to Giphy. Giphy is where you make your own gifts, where you can search up Chilbro, you know, all these amazing gifts I have of my own. You can do the same. So once you got your Instagram verified, head over to Giphy, then you just send, send them a nice email going, hey, I would love to join the Giphy platform and create gifts and also get verified. And then you go, here's some of my PR articles and here is my Instagram, it's verified. Give that quote, make sure they're aware because when they go, oh cool, he's verified, you're trusted on a different platform, they're gonna trust you also. So from there, within the next day, within 24 hours, actually 12 hours, I was verified on Giphy. Super easy with them, super simple. Uh, I'll put the link below where to go for that one. Now after that, same thing with TikTok. So TikTok is a bit more difficult. You can always try going to TikTok's DMs on their Instagram. If you're verified already on Instagram, you're set. Once you drop them a DM on their Instagram, on their Instagram, they'll know you're verified. You'll show up on top of their DMs. From there, uh, they'll verify you. They'll send you an email. They'll go through a little, little checkup and everything, and they're pretty cool. But actually, but at the same time, the best way with TikTok is growing engagement, growing an audience. I have only 10,000. I had only 5,000 followers when I got verified on TikTok. I have a friend, she's verified at 200 followers, but again, she's verified on Instagram already. She has 1.2 million followers, so that was very simple for her. Now, if you are a large TikTok creator with over a million followers, you can drop me an email and I will give you TikTok's direct email to get verified. Again, you have to give me your username and I'll have to see if that's actually you and I'll give you TikTok's email and it's there at tiktok.com email and from there you'll be, I've helped a couple creators get verified from there. That's a platform I can help you out if you're a huge creator. I would love to, it's really neat. It's a, and maybe we could collab, it's very cool. Now you got your TikTok, your Giphy and your Instagram verified, cool. Now. I went an extra mile and I produced a song, one or two songs. Now, if you want to show up on Google search, Google search, the dashboard, I would recommend, eh, this is cheating, but this is very cool. You can create a song and from there, when you publish your song, your distributor will go to Google and go, hey, here's a new person, check them out. Google will check you out and they'll find everything about you, your website, your social media, everything it's crazy how powerful they are then they create your google dashboard so you'll get one of these like these one of my friends julian i got him set up he's got one of them Cyrene, she's another friend of mine she already had one before me she was very helpful of how working how to uh, operate the dashboard and it, from there you if you are a song distributor you should have one already cool look up your if you have a song Make sure to look up your name and try finding it. If you can find the dashboard, immediately click claim this dashboard. And from there, you can claim it and have your photos and everything about you. And it's super neat and it's super cool. Now from here, uh, when you Google search me, I show up on IMDB, all these other big platforms too. And all of that stuff helps. 
provide to Google search system also. Now, with all these platforms verified, now you're trying to get verified on Snapchat. Snapchat is one of the hardest, hardest platforms to get verified. And if you guys don't follow me, it is at Chris Editing. So Snapchat is the hardest platform to get verified on. So from here, everyone goes, oh, it's about views, it's about followers, it's about, you know, it, there's so many different, no one really knows. But from what I have learned, if you are a musician, and again, you have that Google dashboard, from there, you have odds of actually getting this, or if you're a verified celebrity on Instagram, if Snapchat notices you, they will reach out to you. No, you can't pay for this, you can't get referred in, it, it's not like that. So only they'll reach out to you. There's no way to reach out to them. It, unless you're in politics, that's the only way you can do it. It's at snapchat.com. Uh, no, it's actually at Snapchat. No, it's the same thing with Twitter. If you're a government employee, you go to at twitter.com. We'll get there in a second. Um, so from there, if you're a musician, you have some chances. So you definitely want to have an engaging audience on Snapchat. You want to have a real audience and you have to engage with your fans. Now they actually added new features where you can reply with them and chat with them. It's super cool and super neat. Now with Snapchat, again, they'll reach out to you. If it's really not an easy platform to get verified on, uh, there's uh, loopholes, but I do not recommend that. And I'm not gonna say what the loopholes are because I really discourage them. Uh, even if you really wanna figure out how to get verified, DM Snapchat and Twitter. They'll help you out. They'll give you some recommendations of what you can do. Just keep an uh, active audience and definitely engage with your followers. And um, I think Snapchat will see what you got and they'll reach out to you. And from there, you can be verified. Now, Twitter is not the easiest. It is one of the hardest, harder than Snapchat probably now. So now with Twitter, if you are a government employee or uh, whatever you want to call it, you can email gov, G-O-V dot, at twitter.com. There, if you're just any usual person like me, they're going to decline you immediately uh, because it's that email is only for government, is only for the government and for facilities like law enforcement and stuff. So if you work at a city or law enforcement and try and get your page verified, Easy peasy, you can do the same thing. It's also the same for Facebook, you know, gov at facebook.com. Actually, gov at fb.com if you're trying to get verified on that platform too. Um, so Facebook's the same thing. You can fill out the form here. This is the form to fill out to get verified on your personal Facebook page or your personal uh, Facebook profile, if that makes more sense. Just you have to, again, don't do it every 30 days because you will get locked out on their firewall. I did that and now I can't get my Facebook verified and I have no contacts on Facebook. So just my recommendations, be careful how you request your verification. Do it once and don't do it again for another 90 days, 30 days. Don't listen to that because you're still in the system. Now, that's how I got verified on most of my platforms. If you guys have any questions, definitely drop a comment down below and make sure to follow me. I really guys appreciate following me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Twitter, follow me everywhere else. You can see more on my website, chrishiga.com. So have a good day, you guys, and don't hesitate to ask. Peace.